Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, we'll write a Python program to print this number pattern. Shape of this number pattern is right triangle. And here number of row is 5 in this example. But in the program, we'll ask the user to enter number of row. And for number of column, we'll use the formula row plus 1 because here when row number is 0, we want one column. When row number is 1, we need two column. When row number is 2, we need 3 column. That's why I'll take number of column as row plus 1. And next, this is a number pattern and here we want to print numbers in different positions. Let's see how to print these numbers. Here we can see in the first row and first column, that is row 0, column 0, I want to print 5. And in the next row, I want to print 4 in both columns. And in the next row, I want to print 3. And in the next row, I want to print 2. And in the next row, that is in the last row, I want to print 1 in every column. Now, what is 5 here? Here, 5 is the number of row in the output. So, when user enter number of row as 5, we'll get this output. So, 5 is number of row. And if I minus row number from the number of row, so number of row is 5. Row number is here 0. So, 5 minus 0, I'll get 5. Here, row number is 1 and number of row is 5. 5 minus 1, we'll get 4. And 5 minus 2, I'll get 3. 5 minus 3, I'll get 2. 5 minus 4, I'll get 1. So, to print number, I'll use the formula number of row minus row number. Here, this is row number. So, I can call it as row. And number of row is the input. We'll ask the user to enter this input. To print this number, we need to minus row number from the number of row. Right? This is about the shape of the pattern and number we want to print in this pattern. Next, let's write the program. In the Python file, the first step in pattern program is we need to ask the user to enter the input. Here, input is number of row. How many row you want in the output? For that, I'll take variable num. Num represent the number of row in the output. And I'll use input function. Write a message. And here I'm using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default this input function will take input as string value but here number of row is an integer value that's why we need to convert that string value to integer value using this int function. Done with the first step and the second step is we need to use nested for loop to print numbers in different row and column. First for loop for row. Row is the variable name which represent the row number here. And in the range function, I need to mention how many row we want in the output. We want num rows. Here we'll ask the user to mention number of row, right? So we need num rows. Next, let's take the for loop for column. Here call is the variable which represent the column number. And here also I need to mention how many columns we want in each row. We want row plus one column. That is when row is 0, I need 1 column. When row is 1, I need 2 column like that. That's why row plus 1 column. Next here, I need to print the number. As I said previously, to print the number, what we need to do is we need to minus row number from the number of row. Here num represent the number of row minus row. Row represent the row numbers. Num represent the number of row in the output. Here row represent the row numbers. So num minus row. And let's use end is equal to space to print the numbers in the same line and also to add space between the numbers. Done. Next, let's use print function here inside the first for loop, outside the second for loop to print different rows in different lines. So now we are done with this program. Let's save this and execute this. Number of row, I'll take 5 and here you can see the output. Again, let's take 10 
and here you can see the output. If you want to know more about how we can print numbers in the right triangle shape, I already made a detailed video on that. I will give you the link of that video in the description box. In this program, first we'll ask the user to enter number of row. Then we'll use nested for loop to print numbers in different row and column. To print the numbers, we'll use this formula. Then use end to print the numbers in the same line. And also use this print function to print different row in different line. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.